Statistics show that Uganda has one of the youngest population in the world, with 78% below 30 years. We have had the lower the infant mortality from 76 to now 54. It would mean that there will be a, a rapid population growth because more children are being born and few people are dying. So, what are the benefits of a well-planned and healthy population on health, education and social well-being, especially for a country like Uganda? Then the structure of the population changes from what we call a useful pyramidal structure to a rectangular structure, meaning there are many people who are, are living, are surviving, there are many working people, they, they are no longer very many children because people are working, they have access to education, they no longer produce so many children, and then they are surviving, and they are surviving longer. Ugandan women produce on average seven children in their lifetime. Dr. Mbonye says that as a ministry, they have proposed sensitization and education as some of the short-term and long-term measures to address the problem. You can take advantage of a, a high population growth by giving the young people the right skills, you give them the right education, nutrition and skills, so that you can take advantage of a bigger population with skills. And that's what we call demographic dividend. Though the number of teenage pregnancies have decreased from 43% in 1995, 32% in 2006, to 24% this year, Dr. Mbonye says more interventions are necessary to considerably scale down this figure. Giving adolescents information and skills to delay the sexual encounter, to delay their sexual activity until they are ready to get married. Governments and aid agencies all over the world are concerned about the decreasing provision of basic social services compared to the world's population of 7 billion. In Uganda, the government and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, are advocating for not just budgetary provisions for basic services like water, health and skills development to address unemployment and well-being challenges, but also creating awareness about the problem. Moses Sakena, NTV.